Well, first part I want of the orange. Yes, group that's right. Of this leadership, as opposed to the blue group. <laughs> well, first I want to thank. State colors, blue and orange. W just ignore him. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> no. Try if you want. <laughs> but first, I want to thank Senator Murray for her work um, over the years. This is a really important day. It's going to be a really important vote. And frankly, um, women in Michigan and across America have been waiting long enough. It's time to pass the Paycheck Fairness Act. Consider a, a Michigan single mom who's ra raising two young daughters. Last year's been tough, trying to do her job remotely, keep track uh, of the kids in terms of school. Meanwhile, if she's anything like the average American woman, she's earned just 82 cents for every dollar earned by her male coworkers doing the exact same job. And if she happens to be a woman of color, she's probably earned a whole lot less. This wage gap means that by the time she retires, she will have earned at least $400,000 less, $400,000 less than the guy in the next cubicle. That's money she could use to pay the bills, save for a down payment on the house, send the kids to summer camp or music lessons for their, her daughters. And it, when it comes to retirement, that missing $400,000 even means she receives less Social Security benefits. So this is serious for women in this country. It's unfair, it's wrong, it needs to change now. Now is the time to pass the Paycheck Fairness Act. You know, in Michigan we tell our daughters that they can be anything they want to be when they grow up. Let's make sure that includes being paid as well as our sons. This question, the real question today, is will our Republican colleagues joining, join us? Will our Republican colleagues join us in standing up for women in this country? I hope they